by the availability of the product, right? And uh, any given year, we can see downturns. We had a, a huge downturn in the province of Saskatchewan two years ago with a very severe drought. That wasn't just the province of Saskatchewan. It was the whole Midwestern Canada and Midwestern United States as far south as Texas. So that's what really will often, unfortunately drive the price and drive the markets is the availability of product. What we're looking for as a producer myself, uh, growing pulses, we look for consistency in the, in the marketplace. Because in any given year, a farmer in the province of Saskatchewan can decide just like that whether he's going to seed lentils or seed peas or not seed any pulses because of price and market availability and access. So that's what we're really working with with India on and the federal government is doing a great job. Our federal government is working with, with India on hopefully coming to terms on the trade, the trade deal. But I think it's really important for us to talk about just what you're saying is if we can have consistent supply, we can have consistent prices. And that's what this is really all about. That's our focus. <clears throat> as far as the government is concerned, some people use on social media and they throw different numbers. This year the crop is going to be X million tons. So we have you know, firm estimates from the Ministry of Agriculture. <coughs> I was just making a point that you should go by that number. Because if you, you know, zero out to a lower number, if some people start believing the lower number, then because the prices are also driven by sentiments, I also mentioned there, that there could be unnecessary speculation. I'm saying that in terms of tour dal, the production is good. In the vicinity of 36.66 lakh tons this year, which was released by Ministry of Agriculture day before yesterday. Of course, this is not what we consume. We consume a lot more. So there will be some imports from East Africa and Myanmar, but that's going to be sufficient. And we we manage that import in a seamless manner. So, uh, Honorable uh, Ambassador from Myanmar is also here. And we have in constant you know, engagement with the government of Myanmar and the producers in Myanmar. There's a body called OATA, which is also represented in this conference. So we actually video conferenced with them last month to get an estimate of how much is the production. Our ambassador to Myanmar, Mr. Vinay Kumar, was there. And we were assured of 7.5 lakh tons of urat being produced in Myanmar this crop. So what we import in terms of urat is 95% from Myanmar only because nobody else produces. Whereas uh, tour is uh, a lot of it comes from East Africa and some from Myanmar. As Honorable Minister said, lentils and I will supplement sir, your answer with your permission. <laughs> so what happens in uh, lentils, which is masoor dal, what we consume is greater than what we produce. So just that you know, the growing areas are limited. So every year we have to import this amount. This amount, of course, varies. So in addition to keeping an eye on the crop in India, I was looking with him last evening that we also keep a very close eye on how is the crop in Saskatchewan. Mm -hmm. And because it's a free import regime and because we have a good relationship with the Government of Canada, Excellency, here, so we have this great relationship in terms of importing seamlessly. <coughs> and like Honorable Minister said, if availability is there, then affordability will logically follow. Because well, sorry, I'll just subjectivity. So, so increase in the okay. last few years for two reasons. One is uh, <coughs> protein. Uh, first, poverty levels are falling, so people's okay. dietary habits are changing. In India, you're talking only. Uh, production of pulses has increased. Production has also increased. So, I don't agree with one of the speakers there who said that the production is constant and the consumption. Yes, so, I have the numbers. Consumption has also increased because poverty levels have fallen. Population and these people's dietary habits are also changing, and many people are moving away from non-vegetarian to vegetarian. I mean, this happening. You must have also witnessed in your communities and families. So the consumption of pulses, but the consumption basket is not linear. So in terms of consumption, 46% of the country consumes chana gram. 
46 percent of the pulses eating and 11 percent is sewer and 10 percent is pudder and 7 to 8 percent is dental and then there are other pulses so so it's, for example chana we have huge stocks now we have like you know 18 lakh 1.8 million tons which so we are pushing it through uh, the midday meal scheme for children in all the states and any other state which wants to take it from us for their any other uh, uh, program for the poor. So we are also giving them at subsidized rate. X rupees less than the market. That's a government policy. I hope.